Hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome to Barack Christian Church on this good Sunday morning. Hallelujah. If you're excited to be in the house of the Lord, I want to give God a hand clap of praise. Just tell him I thank you, Lord. I love you. Lord, I adore you. Hallelujah. As we welcome in our live stream audience on this morning, it is just good to be back in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Even when you've been out, it's, I've just been anxious to get back to my church. Hallelujah. I've been out for a couple of weeks. Thank God. It wasn't COVID, but it was just a bad sinus infection that kept me out. So I praise God that it kept me through. And just so many people are going through that, we, you know, you sh just wake up with Thanksgiving in your heart. I just, you just wake up grateful that you woke up. Hallelujah. And I ain't worried about all the other things. I'm just grateful that I woke up to see some problems. I'm, I'm grateful to wake up to have problems this morning. Hallelujah. So we just want to give God our very best. And even in this time of trouble, in this time of pandemic, God is still blessing. And I, we just want to thank God for life. Hallelujah. I mean, doing this last two, three years, it uh, showed, uh, taught us to appreciate life, appreciate the sanctity of life, appreciate your life, appreciate others' lives, because uh, so many people have departed from us. And we're not even talking about the violence. We're just talking about through sickness. And God has spared your life. Hallelujah. That, gives, that makes me excited for life this morning. And if you never had one of those transforming experiences where you just have a total different outlook on life, this should be one of those experiences that you have that gives you a new outlook on life. These last three years, you have seen so many people transition, but you are still here. Hallelujah. You may not have everything you want. You may have some problems in your life, but you are still here. And that's enough to give God thanks and praise. Hallelujah. Uh, I just thank you. Why don't you give God a hand clap of praise for just being here? Hallelujah. I thank you for being here. I may have some problems, but I'm thankful to be here to see them. Hallelujah. And at this time, we're going to ask Reverend Rosie Hall to come with our scripture reading. Our, uh, not scripture reading, invocation. I'm out of sync here. Invocation for Reverend Rosie, and then Reverend Vicki Trotter is going to come with our scripture reading, and then we'll go into praise and worship. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, everybody. Praise God. I'm glad to be here, too, in the land of the living. <laughs> praise his name. Father, we thank you this morning. We just thank you, Lord, yes. for this new day, oh, Father, that you have given us, oh, God, another opportunity to come into your presence this morning. And so this morning, we just welcome your Holy Spirit in this house. We welcome you to move and have your way in this house. We welcome you to touch us in a special way. We welcome you to allow the word to come inside of us and shake us and make us into the people of God that you intended for us to be. We recognize who you are, and we welcome you for your guidance in this service that you will move in a mighty way. We thank you, and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Good morning. Our scripture reading today is coming from 1 Peter. The first chapter, verses 3 through 9. Again, this first Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 to nine, through 9. And if you could stand in reverence for the reading of the word of God. I'll be reading from the New Revised Standard Version. And it reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance, inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that though perishable is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Yeah. Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, 
you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Hallelujah, what a word, what a word. I look forward to that coming about. I love you, Lord. How many of you love the Lord on today? Hallelujah. We're going to give him some glory today and some honor and some praise. I love you, Lord, and exalt his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Won't you lift your hands unto the Lord? Hallelujah. We have so many ways that we can praise him and that we can worship him. He is worthy, don't you know? We can say it with our mouth. We can lift our hands. We can reverence him. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. I want every voice to lift up with us today and exalt his name.
you high and we exalt thee. We exalt thee. Oh Lord. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, we exalt thee. We I want you, in the, as we come to this pause and this interlude, I want you to think of all the names that you use to call Jesus. Night in the, uh, uh, late in the midnight hour, King of kings and Lord of lords. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Come on in, let's worship him, let's worship him. You're King of kings and you're Lord of lords. You're the bright and morning star. Oh, beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega, wheel in the middle of the wheel, bright and morning star, we worship you, we worship you, oh, we thank you, we love you, we can't live without you, Lord, we need you, we need you, we need you, we need you, oh, Lord, your healer, provider, sustainer. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, we exalt thee, we exalt thee, we exalt thee, we exalt thee, oh, oh Lord, hallelujah, we worship you Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How many of you exalt the Lord? Hallelujah. I, I praise you. I magnify you. Even when I'm not feeling well, I still exalt thee. That means I still worship you, Lord. I still praise you, Lord. I still thank you, Lord. I still magnify you, Lord. I still give your name high reverence. No matter what I'm going through, Lord, I still exalt thee. Hallelujah. In dangers, I still praise you, Lord. Through troubles, I still exalt your holy name. Through uncertainty, Lord, you still are high and mighty. That's what the song is saying. Lord, we exalt thee. Over all things, we exalt thee. No matter what's going on in our lives, we exalt thee. When we feel like we are defeated, Lord, we still give your name to high praise. Why? Because when we praise your name, almighty God, your word says it activates something on the spiritual realm that begins to turn some things around for us. So we have to exalt your holy name, oh God. It, it, it is, it's built inside of our DNA to exalt the name of the Lord. Even in the good times, even in bad times, we are to exalt his holy name, almighty God, because you are truly Worthy, hallelujah, worthy to be praised, worthy to be magnified. And you just, even in your lowest, lowest, still had the desire to exalt the name of the Lord, even when you didn't feel like getting up out of the bed. Ha, huh. I still got to praise God's holy name. Hallelujah, amen, amen. We thank you, Reverend Stephanie, for that beautiful selection. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to have Sister Tamiko Tucker come with our pastoral prayer, and, and we are still in times where prayer is definitely needed. Hallelujah. And just praying over this pandemic that we become uh, uh, more believers of science than rhetoric. Hallelujah. That, that we look at the history of science and medicine and, and stop going off on these foolish tangents about about what you don't know what's in something and, and, and we're 
eating everything and don't know what's in nothing. Hallelujah. And so we pray upon our leaders that we have leaders that don't want to make a political statement, but doing things and voting for health and safety. Hallelujah. We, we, we have more people that is willing to make a headline rather than to be on the right side of health and safety. So we were praying out on that and even the violence in our communities and people are losing their lives just going from point A to point B and reckless driving. So we, we, it's just so much that we need to lay before the throne of grace this morning. So we pray uh, for Tamiko Tucker and with her as she comes and go before the throne of grace this morning. Shaky, I've been hitting this in hell like crazy, trying to get my breathing right, but I don't mind waiting. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless your name. <laughs> Lord, we thank you. We bless you on today, Father. We glorify you, Father. Open our hearts right now to receive your word on today, Lord. Open our hearts to receive our corrections, Father, and our directions, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. Forgive us right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Forgive us for falling short from your, of your word, O oh God. Forgive us for not being obedient, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. We're crying out to you today, Father, for healing, for deliverance, for peace, oh God. Set the captive free in the name of Jesus, oh God. Heal, heal, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, those that are hurting, those that are sick with infirmities in their bodies, oh God. Those that are battling with things in their minds, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. You said that you would give us perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, oh God. So help us to keep our minds stayed on you. Help us to stay steadfast in your word, oh God. Help us to be unmovable in your word, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. You said to ask, to seek, and to knock, and that the doors will be open. So, oh God, we need you to open the doors for your wisdom. We need you to open the doors for your understanding, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hear our cries on this morning, oh God. Hear our cries on this morning, oh God. We're calling on you because you are the great I am. We have nothing and no one. All we have is you because you are the one true living God. You are the bread of life. You are a ram in the bush. You make ways out of no way, oh God. You clear pathways for us, oh God, that we don't even know about. So we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your steadfast love, oh God. We thank you for never leaving nor forsaking us. We thank you that you never let our hands go even though we let go. Even though we get weary sometimes in well-doing, Father God, we thank you for never turning your back on us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Help us to be anchored in your word. Help us not to be moved when trials and tribulations come, Father, in the name of Jesus. We exalt you, Father. We give you the highest praise, which is hallelujah, oh God. We thank you for being on the throne. We thank you that you sit high, but you look low, Father, in the name of Jesus. And you see all and you know all. You, you knew us when we were formed in our mother's womb, Father God. You knew that this day will come, oh God. That there will be sicknesses, Father God. That there will be famine in the world, oh God. But we trust your word, Father, in the name of Jesus. Because we know that in the end, it says that we win. So we thank you, oh God, for bringing these things to pass, Father God, and that we still have the victory, Father God, and we can just shout now. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, that the victory is won, oh God. Thank you that the victory is won in Christ Jesus who died on the cross, Father God. He went to Calvary for us, Father God. So we thank you, oh God, that he never, he 
he never stopped. Each time they beat him, he got right back up. And he got up just for me, oh God. So I thank you in the name of Jesus, oh God, for deliverance on today. Hear the cries of the nation. Heal the land, Father God. Touch your people and give them a heart to humble themselves before your mighty hand, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We praise you. We ask that you cover our children, Father. Keep them, our parents, our loved ones, Father God. Remind us that wherever we can't be, oh God, our prayers can be, Father God. So we thank you for hearing the affectionate prayers of the righteous, Father God, because they do avail us much, Father. Those that are in right standing with you, oh God, we thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let us continue to hear your voice. In a stranger's voice, we shall not, Father. Only your voice, Father. Only your ways, Father God. Help us to continue to be a holy people, Father God, to do things that are pleasing in your sight. Allow us to say things that are pleasing in your sight, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And as your word goes forth, Father God, let it set free, set fire, let it tear down, and let it build up, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we forever give you the honor, the glory, and the praise on this day, Father, because you are so worthy. You're so worthy to be praised, Father. And we lift you up. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 We thank Tamiko for that awesome prayer. Amen. If you're in agreement, give God a hand clap of praise. Uh, I believe God is able to do everything that she requested. Hallelujah. And more. Because then your Bible say that he's able to do more than we can ask, think, or imagine. So if you can think it. He surely can do it. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to welcome our, recognize our visitors. We have any visitors online or in the house. We just want to greet you this morning in the name of Christ Jesus. On behalf of our pastors, Dr. Lenar and Dr. Stacy A. Mims and the Barack Christian Church Congregation, we greet you and welcome you to worshiping with us on this morning. We just thank God and praise God that he placed it on your heart to worship with us on this morning. Uh, if you're online, why don't you um, put a, a text in the uh, group, uh, Facebook online, just greeting the visitors. And if you're in, in person, we just going to pass the peace with a dab. You know, we still going to be, got to be cautious. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We, we love you, but we still, we want to still love you in the present. So we got to keep on with our social distancing and making sure that we, we're keeping everyone safe on this morning. But uh, we still reach out and touch and agree with you. We love you. We thank you. And we just pray that you have a great time in the service and that however you feel that you need to praise God, that you are welcome and free to do it. Because we are not bound up by tradition. Uh, by expectation, we just bound up in the love of Christ Jesus. And that's the only binding that we want. That's the only, I don't want to be locked up by anything else but by the love of Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. At this time, we're going to our announcements. Our announcements are as follows. Please submit all church announcements to baropannounce at att.net. The weekly deadline for announcements is every Monday at 5 p.m., all announcements will be reviewed, edited, and pre-approved before publishing. For more information, please contact Pastor Stacy. The prayer ministry. You are welcome to pray on the conference call prayer line Sunday at 9.30 to 10 a.m. The meeting ID is 425-436-6371, and the PIN number is 590-6490. You do not have to be on the prayer team to pray. For more information, please contact Reverend Rosie Hall. And you, if you just want to listen to the prayers, dial in and listen to the prayers. Amen. Bible study. The 10 a.m. Bible study conference call number is 718-819-1750. And the PIN number is 534-9395. The 7 p.m. Bible study is on Zoom. The meeting ID is 860-1301-2979, and the password is 450787. And the audio-only number is 312-626-6799. 
the Barat Recovery Support Program, addiction and recovery services are open to the public every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Services include references, spiritual counseling, group and or peer support, and care coordination. Due to COVID-19, telehealth and other media outlets are available. Please contact Dr. Lynn Mims, the director, or Reverend William Lemons, the peer recovery support specialist at 314-521-2243. The food giveaway program will resume on Saturday, January the 15th, 2022. If you are interested in helping to prepare boxes, please arrive at 9.30 a.m. We begin serving the community at 12 p.m. every Saturday. And we just want to keep this program lifted up. We, had to, we took two weeks off, and then the weather threw us a, 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 a uh, a shank on our plans that we had to cancel on yesterday. So yeah. we are just anxious to get back serving the community because we know it's a need and and the community is still uh, needing. So it breaks our heart to have to cancel, but we, we have to keep safety in mind as well. Children and youth educational program. The purpose of this program is to give children and youth the tools to overcome social and emotional barriers that prevent them from being successful in life. We intend to educate children and youth using resources that address violence prevention, addiction prevention, and treatment, healthy relationship education, mentoring, and mental health counseling and therapy. CYEP will begin in January 2022. Classes are only 12 weeks from ages 8 to 18. Please call or text 314-522-4911 to sign your child or email Barack Church at att.net. And this is not exclusive to Barack members only, so you have nieces and nephews or friends, neighbors, so you know, uh, you, and we know we see some children that need some help. And we always write off of that that child needs some therapy or some help. Well, you know there there's a program out there that is available to give it to them for free. So uh, reach out to that parent or touch that child and let them know that these services are available. Amen. Amen. Our second shut-in, we want to keep Sister Shirley Barnes lifted up. Uh, sir, we are praying for you. If we have her number, just give her a text. Let her know that you're thinking about her and that you love her. Amen. These are our announcements, and we're going to turn it over to Pastor Mims for our tithes and offerings. I want to come before you. Let me just kind of emphasize the uh, announcement that Reverend Brian made about the uh, children's and youth educational program, and then we're going to take up our offering. Uh, we have planned, we planned on starting this program on the 8th, but uh, the snow, the weather yesterday, the COVID, and all those things have caused us to uh, kind of uh, move up to next week. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to be sending a link to the parents that I've been talking to so that we can do Zoom for the program. We'll just we'll have Zoom as an alternate uh, next week if it is that we can't make it. So uh, I wanted to make sure that we knew that. And I have a flyer. Uh, that I'd like to give a copy of what he just showed up there on the uh, screen that I'd like to give to the parents immediately after the service. So I'll try to get that before, since I'm not uh, preaching, I'll try to get that before you leave here in the sanctuary. Uh, let us prepare now for the offering. And as Pastor Stacy has said, thank you, Reverend Dickey. Uh, as, Pastor, as Pastor Stacy has said, the offering Amen. We have these programs and we have the support as well of our church. And I was just sitting there thinking how fortunate we are to be in this place and have heat and something to eat. We may not have what we, what we want, but we have what we need. And our God is the provider. 
so if you would support the church, and I'm talking to the people on live stream, on Facebook Live, we need your help. We need your help. And so if you, uh, amen, uh, can make your check or if you can go to your uh, technology and uh, send us the information, uh, uh, we would really appreciate it. Uh, to give an offering, uh, uh, Reverend Darrell, I know you got that focus on the screen, amen. Let me just quickly walk you through it. Uh, if, you, if you give an offering, you can give an offering by Cash App, which is Dollar Sign Barack Church, or PayPal, which is Barack Church at att.net, or go to barackchristianchurch.org and click the online giving tab and follow the instructions. Or you can give by Zelle. Rock Church at att.net or Apple Pay, which you can text 314 522 4911, or you can mail your check to 7370 North Handley Road, Hazelwood, Missouri 63042. Amen. Now, uh, Reverend Vicki is uh, coming around to uh, receive the offering. electronic ways, we just gave you ways that you can give, amen, amen, thank God this morning, somebody celebrated a birthday last week, stand up Father Hall, <laughs> how old are you Father Hall, 88, <laughs> I want to, when I grow up, I want to be just like you, Father Hall. <laughs> Amen. You may be seated. All right, you may be seated. Thank God. Uh, let us, let us, let us pray. Amen. Father, we thank you now for this day. And, oh, Lord, my heart rejoices when I think about the fact that you promised us that though we are young and may grow old, we never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and we gladly return to you a portion of that which you've given us. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen, amen. At this time, we're going to have another selection before we hear the preach word of God. Preach. I woke up to that text this morning. I said, let me get up and get to the house. Hallelujah. So this morning, the word of God is going to be preached by our other co-pastor, Dr. Stacy A. Mims, this morning. Hallelujah. She break the bread of life. You know, it's it's great to have one pastor but when you have two that can break down the word of God you, you just get excited so you, no matter who is preaching on a good Sunday you know you have a good word coming so we want to pray for her and pray with her as she prepares to preach what God has placed on her heart this morning and I won't give it up but I'm in anticipation for this word of God so we're going to ask Reverend Stephanie to bless us with another song and after that you will hear the voice of our co-pastor, Dr. Stacey A. Mims. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I was glad when they said unto me, come into the house of the Lord. It's so good to be here. Woo! So thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. How appropriate, huh? Come on, y'all, let's jam. <laughs> Tragedies are commonplace, all kinds of diseases, people are slipping away, 
The economy is down and people can't get enough pay. But as for me, all I can say is thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Hey, hey, hey. Without homes, living in the streets, and the drug habits, some say they just can't be. Muggers and robbers, no place seems to be safe. But you've been my protection every step of the way. I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Hey, 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 it could have been me. Outdoors with no food and no clothes, or oh, just alone without a friend. I could have been another number with a tragic end, but you didn't see fit to let none of these things be. Because every day by your power, you keep on keeping me. And I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Hey, 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 it could have been me outdoors with no food and no clothes. Could have been alone without a friend. I could have been another number with a tragic end. You didn't see fit to let none of these things be. Cause every day by your power, you keep on, keep on keeping me. I wanna say thank you, Lord. Hey, hey, I wanna say thank you, Jesus. I want to thank you for your love. I want to thank you for your power. I want to thank you for protection every hour. I want to thank you for your love. I want to thank you for your power. I want to thank you for protection oh, every hour. I want to thank you for your thank you. I want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you. I got to say thank you. I want to thank you for your love. I want to thank you for your power. I want to thank you for protection. Oh, every hour. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I want to thank you for your love. I want to thank you for your power. I want to thank you for protection. Every hour. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you on the Monday. Thank you on the Tuesday. Thank you on the Wednesday. Thank you on the Thursday, thank you on the Friday, thank you on the Saturday. Thank you for a brand new mercy. Every day I see a brand new mercy. Oh, every day. I want to thank you for your love. Oh, thank you for your power. I want to thank you for protection every hour. Oh,
Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Come on. He is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you. Even for the times when we thought you should have done something and you didn't do it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Reverend Stephanie. This morning, we're coming from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 9. Verse, 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 9. That's 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 9. And I want to thank Reverend Vicki for reading the scripture this morning. And we're going to read it again for those who press their way in. Amen. And it reads, and I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version, and it reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his grace and mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven just for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Verse 6, in this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that though perishable is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Verse 8, although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your soul. Yes, yes. Amen. And I want those of you who are joining us on Facebook uh, to write in the comment section. And those of you who are standing here today, I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, you can't stop my praise. You can't stop my praise. Come on and pray. Come on and pray with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we praise you, we glorify you, and we honor you. And we bless your magnificent and wonderful holy name. And we thank you, God, because we anticipated this day. We came with expectation. We couldn't wait to get to the house of the Lord to hear what the Lord had to say to us, God. Because we know throughout this week we're going to need this word. You can't stop my praise. Something is going to happen, but I'm still going to have to praise you, God. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be some disappointments, but I'm still going to have to praise you, God. Yeah. Lord, I just whoo, thank you, Lord. I just bless you. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we thank you, you praise you, and we honor you in the precious and holy name of Christ Jesus. Oh, God's people say amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. amen. You know what? People really don't know who you are. They really don't know you, not for real. Uh, they just know what they see, but they don't know what you've been through. They don't know you until you know what I have been through <laughs> and what it took for me to come out of that thing. Some of you don't even know I'm going through something right now, amen, and still have to bless, bless the Lord and praise him. After all that you have been through in your life, people don't know why and how you are still holding on. They don't know why you're still maintaining the hope and the faith. They don't know where your strength come from. In fact, after all you've been through, sometimes you have to ask yourself the questions, why am I holding on to this God? 
Uh, people really don't know what you have been through in your life and how you have had to suffer various trials. They don't know how you're still holding on when there's nothing but chaos and drama in your family. Every time something goes down, you're the one who tries to hold it all together and maintain the peace in the family. They don't know that in your marriage and with your children, you're the one who is keeping it all together. You are the one who's always giving more than what you're getting. You're, you're the one who makes the sacrifices or put yourself, your spouse before yourself or put your children before yourself. You put your job before yourself. They don't know how you're still holding on at your job when you're facing a downsizing or your supervisor picks, you, picks at you for no reason or the office rumors about you. They don't know how you're still holding on when you come to church and really seek the Lord, but it's hard to seek because the ones who are supposed to show you got more problems than you got. Oh, people don't really know you. They really don't know you. They don't know what you suffered. They don't know what you've gave up. They don't know the trials and the tribulations that you have been through. People don't know how and why you're still holding on to this faith. Oh, today they are about to find out the truth about who you really are. You're going to find out today. Amen. And why it is you've been able to make it this far in your life. Your neighbor, your family, your friends, your girlfriends are about to find out why every time you are attacked, you always get up out of it. <laughs> Thank you, God. I'm going to leave y'all this morning, so <laughs> keep up with me. Amen. They're about to find out the reason why you've been able to keep going and inspire everything and everybody around you. And you still going through it yourself, but you're still able to reach out and encourage somebody else. No matter what you've been through or what you're going through, you can go ahead and tell your neighbor your secret. Turn to your neighbor and type in the comment section, I've been through too much, but you can't stop my praise. <laughs> this text encourages one to survive and follow Christ and to maintain your praise even though you have had to suffer trials and tribulations. Our text today exalts Jesus and establishes his throne saying through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which reminds us that it is through him. That while we had to suffer very trials, the suffering we had to go through was not without meaning. I want to tell you again, the suffering that you had to go through, uh, yeah. that you had to go through was not without meaning. Uh, because he himself who was tested by what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested now. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 17 tells us our light affliction is but for a moment, but suffering for even a little while, a moment feels like eternity, don't it? When you are struggling in a world of quick fixes and easy access. We live in an instant society. We on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and the internet where we're able to share information in an instant. Uh, we are sometimes discouraged when God doesn't answer our prayers instantly. Mm. We began to either question or dismiss God's power, God's presence, and God's wisdom activating in our lives because God did not answer us quick enough. Uh, we go out and start to try to solve the issue ourselves. We try to handle it ourselves in the best way that we can. I want to encourage you this morning to stay and hold and wait on God. Sometimes the issues or the situation in one's life is, if not careful, can cause one to focus and to get off track, to indulge ourselves in ungodly things. Come on, y'all. Some of y'all been there when God didn't get through. You fell back on what you used to know, what used to get you through. I don't need the name of, do I need to come down on your row and remind you of the things that you fell back on? We are, sometimes we are more concerned for the curves of the world. We sometimes fall into moral blindness and satisfaction and satisfying ourselves and our achievements and our failures. It looks like and it feels like we are at our lowest in America right now. 
We are vulnerable to social constructs of our government's mantra to make America great again by weakening and expending unnecessary economic and human resources, creating a gulf between the social classes. We are being subjected to a corrupt political system that is concerned with creating greater economic divide and racial profiling and racial subordination and increased violence and turning inhumanity in on ourselves. We are not facing an external war, people. Rather, we are at war internally, dismantling the faith and monotheism in one God. Trials will come to test our faith to show the inheritance of this imperishable God that means that we're not subject to decay. An undefiled God who is untamed and uncorrupted and untouched and unfading God not losing value or effectiveness in our freshmen. Well, trials will come to test our faith. To show the inheritance will withstand the suffering. Let me say it again because some of you need to it's an encouragement. Some of you need to hear it again. Trials will come. Mm. You can't live a life without trials. Trials will come. We can't determine when they will come. They will just come. Trials will come to test our faith and to show us. Uh, this is what the trial is showing us. It's showing us that the inheritance will withstand the suffering. It will withstand the struggle. It will withstand ridicule. It will withstand injustice. The grass withers. The flowers fade. But the word of God will stand forever. God is everlasting. He's almighty. And God is a God of all gods. He's El Shaddai and El El Young, the most high God. He's L-O-M, God of eternity. And while our future look hopeless, uh, the next text reminds us that we are being protected by the power and promises of God. Mm. He was tested in the wilderness with hunger, power, put other gods before God Almighty. People had little faith in him and doubted the Christ in him. People put him down instead of building him up. How many people have put you down instead of building you up? They told him he was not the son of God, that he was just a carpenter. They questioned his friendships, Lazarus' sisters did. They backstabbed him and backbiting him. But through him, the very one that was persecuted for righteousness sake, the one whom was betrayed by a friend, handed over to the council to be falsely accused, stripped of his clothes and beaten and whipped, insulted and carried his own rugged cross and nailed his hands and his feet and left to die in the face of the world. But through him, that same one, <laughs> The very one that descended into hell to suffer salvation to those who had gone before him. Through him who on the third day rose from the dead and had gone before the God. And now sits at the right hand of the father who will come to judge the quick and the dead. Through him who said, I am going to the father to prepare a place for you. I will not leave you as orphans. I am leaving the Holy Spirit to abide with you. That's hope, church. That's hope. That's God. God knows that you are enduring patiently and bearing up for the sake of his name. And that you have not grown weary. Our suffering, our trials, and our tribulations is our new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. With this hope, we do not have to be fearful of the times that we're living in. As one theologian stated, hope lives because it is based in Jesus' resurrection from the dead, his triumph over death. Hope lives because death cannot overcome it. Hope lives because even in the face of tribulation, it does not back down or grow weary or faint. That's from the New Interpreters, page 250 on the bottom for those of you scholars who need to know where I got that from. But there's a song my grandmama used to sing to remind herself of the God she served. She said, my hope is built on nothing less 
than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. The songwriter said, on Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Oh, yes, the fruit of lips that confess his name. Once we have been ushered into persecution of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, God becomes the heart and the center of our world. Our vision is cleared so that we can see his work. We must acknowledge God and who God is. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Giving God the praise in all things and all challenges that are put before us and the pressure that is on our lips and in our hearts and on our minds. We have to be positive in every negative situation and every negative thought that we have. We have to be positive that our God will come through. It puts pressure on our tongues to speak praises and his, his praises shall continually be in my mouth is what the text says so whenever we find ourselves going through trials and tribulations and the struggles that we go through let that be the pressure on your lips to give him praise and this is how we praise above adversity and to overcome limitations we praise him to overcome temptations and we praise him to overcome the situations in our lives the fire that tested our faith resulting in us giving God the glory the honor and the praise praise is a response to what God has done somebody need to hear that praise is a response To what God has done. Somebody needs to hear you praise the Lord. Because when they hear you praise the Lord. They know that the Lord has brought you through something. What you have witnessed God to do in your life. Or in the life of someone else. Praise is giving gratitude. Praise is showing appreciation. Appreciation is given by those who have lived in bondage. And have seen and been set free. Our praise says to the world that if it wasn't for the Lord on my side praise says that if it wasn't for the Lord I could not have done this I could not have came out of the dope house I could not rise up off the hospital bed I would not have been able to raise my kids on one family income if it wasn't for the Lord I would have been dead by now praise says if it wasn't for the Lord I would have lost my man praise acknowledges that can't nobody do me like jesus can't nobody do me like the lord be careful to praise god the father in every aspect of our lives you can't stop my praise you fought some battles but i praise him because i'm still here you thought that i was gone somewhere you thought that your little uh, 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 insults knocked me down but i'm still here i'm still praising him you suffered various trials but i praise him anyway just because of what i went through i don't even look like it y'all sitting there looking at me saying she look all right to me but i can tell you some stories baby about what I've been through. Oh, and the suffering I had to go through. Not because of all of the choices that I made, but because of what some other people did to me, that I had to suffer that thing. But my God brought me out of it, and I can praise his holy name. He brought you through sickness. He brought you through false accusations. He brought you through the ridicule. He brought you through rejection. Weeping may endure for the night, But joy comes in the morning for the Bible. The Bible says through many dangers, toils, and snares. The Bible says that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You can't stop my praise. For the Bible says mount up with 
wings like eagles. Uh, for your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard. Uh, all but the race is not given to the swift, uh, but to them that endures to the end. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, even though I got a little while to go before this is over, uh, I still got to praise them while I'm going through. Uh, oh, I don't have to wait. Uh, Reverend Rosie, I don't have to wait uh, until it's over. Uh, I'm praising them right now. Uh, yes, he's taking me through this thing. He's still giving me strength in my body. He's still waking me up each day. He's still got something for me to do. And I can still lift up my voice and give him the praise. You can't stop my praise. He that begun a good work in you shall perform it. Not that he might perform it. He shall perform it. If he gave it to you, he's going to bring you through it. And don't be weary in well doing. For in due season, you will reap and faint not. And my last claim that I found that the Bible said, I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread. Oh, you can't stop my praise. And that's all I got to say to you this morning. You can't stop my praise. When somebody try to stop your praise, that's when you need to go ahead and you go ahead and dance before the Lord. You can't stop my praise. You can't stop my praise. Even when you're on your job and you feel like you need to praise them, go ahead and raise up your hand. God knows what that means. You can't stop my praise. Only thing you got to do is when you're in a situation and you can't talk, you just mumble that thing. Mmm, God. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, God will hear your cry. God will hear your praise. Oh, you just got to keep walking through that thing and don't give up. You got to keep on praising him and don't give up because God is going to bring you through church. Come on and give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him a hand praise. You shouldn't have to wait for somebody to tell you to praise the Lord. You should come in ready to praise him. You should go to bed ready to praise him. Oh, God, I just magnify you. I praise you not only for what you did for me. I praise you for what you did to my sister. I praise you for what you did for my brother. I praise you what you did for my friend. Some people that I don't even know. I praise you for getting them up out of that COVID-19 and getting them off their sick bed. God, I just praise you. You're doing some marvelous and wonderful things, God. You and Almighty. God. You are all suffering God. You are holy God. I just praise you God. I thank you for who you are God. I thank you for what you did for my mama. I thank you for bringing me a mighty long way. God I praise you even though it don't come out the way that I want it to come out. I still give you the praise God because you have stopped some things from happening to me that I didn't even know that I was a target and I want to thank you God. I want to praise you Oh, yeah, the enemy had an attack on me. But, God, I want to praise you because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Y'all don't know that scripture. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You can try to attack me, but it won't prosper because of my God. Thank you, God. You can't stop my praise. Oh, you can't stop my praise. Thank you, Lord. Come on and give God a hand praise. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. And I still got you out of here on time. It's all right. We going to pray. Thank you, Lord. Come on and pray with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bless you. We glorify you and we honor you. And we thank you for your word. And we thank you that you stick close to us, God, that you never let us go. Even though our sins and our trespasses are before you, you're still a God who delivers. You are still a God who protects. And we just thank you, God, and continue to put that praise on our lips, God. We bless you, we glorify you, and we honor you. And may the, may the love of God and the grace of Jesus Christ and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest abide and keep us now. Until we meet again, let all God's people say, you can't stop my praise. Amen. Amen. Hold on before we
just quickly say this. Uh, we plan on doing this by uh, Zoom if uh, necessary. We start at 1 o'clock. And you all are going to be really happy when you see your kids and your sisters. 